Welcome to Das Geek. I am going to show you how to quickly install Boxcryptor. Then I'm going to show you around the interface. If you're not familiar with Boxcryptor, you may want to go back and watch one of my other videos entitled the top cloud services to use because Boxcryptor essentially is a service that allows you to encrypt your files locally before you're sending them over into a cloud service like Amazon Cloud, OneDrive, or any of those other services like that. And that adds an additional layer of protection because if you watch the other video, you'll see that a lot of the protection that you have on these cloud services is pretty piss poor. So this is a fantastic app. There's a application that for your phone, which I'll show here and an application for your PC. On your PC, it's going to create a virtual drive and you can right click anywhere on your computer once it's installed and go down to the Boxcrypt text and you'll have an option to open Boxcrypt so that you can get to that virtual drive if you don't see it listed in your file explorer. But otherwise, this is a lot of next continues and very easy and it certainly breaks down the barriers of people thinking encryption is difficult. It is not, it is very easy to use and services like Boxcryptor make it very simple. So Boxcryptor uses the AES-256 and RSA encryption algorithms, meaning they're very secure. I will mention that although they are very secure algorithms, this is not open source encryption, so it has not gone through any of the trials and tribulations that open source encryption can, which means people poking holes and finding issues. They're keeping their encryption private. So there are a little bit of concerns there, but certainly using this is going to be far more secure than just throwing your files out there onto a cloud if you're going to use cloud services. Once you're done clicking next and continue and reading through the prompts, you also had an option if you didn't see there for scanning QR code so you can open the app or you can just open the app store on Android or iPhone and download it from there and you'll be ready to go and start playing with the interface in just a matter of minutes. Once you have it installed, you're going to notice you have a new drive on your computer. In my case, it's an X drive. In your case, it may be a DEF, it doesn't matter, but it'll be named Box Cryptor when you're going through your file explorer. And this is where you're going to want to move any of the files that you want to encrypt before you send them over to OneDrive. So in this case, you can see this best web browser document as encrypted right now. It's got that little green dot and I can right click on it and decrypt it. But I'm going to move a picture over here. So I'm going to go ahead and picture on my file explorer and move it so you can see how this is going to work. And you guys aren't seeing that because it's on my other screen, but I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Now notice, as soon as I try to paste it, it's going to say, you're creating an unencrypted file or folder. Do you want to encrypt it? And this is my Apple versus FBI picture that I used or PowerPoint that I used for another video. So I'm going to go ahead and click, yes, I want to encrypt it. And it's going to encrypt that file. And now it's going to move it over to OneDrive encrypted. So now the encryption happened locally and that's the safest way. And so it's encrypted going over to OneDrive. It was encrypted on my computer, then encrypted going to OneDrive through that connection and it's still encrypted on their server. So if I go to that file now in my OneDrive, which I will show you here, you'll notice that this is my OneDrive file, which also when you install OneDrive or Google Drive's software or whatnot, they're going to create a folder or area where all the files that you've moved over are stored. And in my case, it's OneDrive. So you can see the path there to OneDrive and you can see those both of those files there. Now, if I try to open any of these files, notice that they have .bc added to the end of them. I will not be able to. You can see it doesn't know how to even open that file. There's no options there. So that's because it's encrypted. But I can go back here if I want and I can decrypt this file here and go through Boxcryptor decrypt. Yes. And once that syncs up, I should be able to refresh here and I can now open that file. It's opening on my other screen. As soon as it opens, I'll shoot it over here. You can see I now have that file open. I didn't get any of those prompts or errors or anything else that's been completely decrypted. So you have that option of encrypting or decrypting right from the app here. And let's go ahead and encrypt this again. Not that I need it encrypted, but this is just an example of how it is. So 
that's how it works. You've got your X drive. That's where you're going to move your files to. When you move them over there, it will prompt you to encrypt them and then it'll automatically upload those into OneNote or whatever cloud service you're using. Boxcryptor is very, very easy to use. And over here is the actual app itself. And you can see I have an image here with the lock and that's telling me that that image is encrypted. Now we can decrypt that image, but I don't know if we can actually do it from the app. I don't think you can uh, decrypt it from the app itself. But you can view that image uh, from here. We can add files and photos. You see when I clicked on that, or I can go up here and add file, add photo, new folder that I can add to it with no issue at all. So if I go to add photos and just for privacy sake, not that I have anything dirty in here, but who knows what I've got on here. So let me just grab a photo real quick. So I select that photo and then once I've selected that and it just goes through your camera roll and you pick one, it's going to say down here, do you want to upload that file encrypted or do you just want to upload that file normally? And so if I click upload file encrypted, it's going to say, do you want to upload the file encrypted or in plain text? And I'm going to go ahead and encrypt that. And then once I've done that, I'm going to click upload and that new file is going to appear. I must have chosen the exact same picture again. Let's try this again here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add a photo, go through my camera roll. Let me pick one I know I haven't chosen. Let's pick this one here. So again, I've got that prompt for upload file. I'm going to upload file encrypted. So I'm going to click on that middle button. I'm going to go ahead and say encrypt. And then I'm going to click on upload. And there we go. Now we got a new uploaded encrypted file there. So now I'm sending things to the server encrypted through my phone using Boxcryptor's app. Now, Boxcryptor is a free service for one cloud service, meaning you can set up one cloud service with it. And a lot of the features like group and collaboration and things will be turned off. So unless you pay for one of their uh, other packages. So just keep that in mind. But you have a lot of options when it comes to which uh, sources that you want to, which cloud services that you want to use. And I'll just show you that here real quick. So these are the options. You can do it through Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, OneDrive for Business. You can see here you have lots and lots of options for the cloud service that you want to interface with Boxcryptor. In my case, I chose OneDrive. And the only reason for that, if you've watched my other video on choosing the best cloud service is because I simply get OneDrive because I have an Office 365 subscription for, I get the thousand gigabytes free. There's no reason for me to pay for space on somebody else's, uh, for somebody else. And I can simply use Boxcryptor to do all of my encryption needs. So I don't have to worry as much about OneDrive's security or lack thereof but in your case if you don't have office 365 or some other service that you're using then choose the one that you want you can look at my video it may help you choose the right service to use and you can use a service like box Cryptor for your security needs on that because it's again encrypting it locally instead of encrypting it once it's over on the actual service itself like some of the other spider oaks and, and other ones will do so that's it that's my video i hope you've enjoyed this there's a lot you can get out of having a cloud drive, a ton of convenience. They really are very helpful when you're trying to clear out all the memory and photos and everything going on on your phone. And having that app there for Boxcryptor is fantastic. Certainly they're worth investing in if you're doing some of the more advanced features and giving them some money because uh, they have a really solid tool here. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave your comments below if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit subscribe because it really helps me. It's just a click for you. And I will talk to you guys. Don't get too far. Don't get like the video.